Hello, it's E10, and the video you're going to be watching in the background is going to be a double chem on Drop Zone. And this is actually the world's first on uh, PSN, so that's PS3 or PS4. And normally I wouldn't use a title like this, like I wouldn't like use something like World's First Double Chem on PS4 or PS3 or something like weird like that. But because uh, we did get the um, Drop Zone playlist like later, I thought that it was kind of fair because I got this within two days of playing it, whereas the first Drop Zone Double Chem was got within like four days of playing it. So hopefully you guys understand what I mean about that. But that isn't really what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about in this video, uh, what I actually want to speak about is the Devastation DLC map pack that did come out for Xbox yesterday. And um, to be honest, it doesn't look as that great. Um, I know that a lot of people who have played it have said that it's not really that enjoyable to play. Uh, some maps are okay, but um, some maps aren't. So that is kind of a bit unfortunate. But still, I'm going to give my opinions on each map that is in the map pack. So let's just get straight into it. So, the first map that I do want to talk about is um, Unearthed, and that is the um, Dome remake that was from Modern Warfare 3. I uh, don't know if any of you guys did play that, you probably did. And um, that was kind of like the fan favourite from that game. And that's just because it was the smallest map. It, in my opinion, it wasn't my favourite map. I didn't feel like it was the best in the game. But most of the new players uh, just think it's the best just because it's the smallest and it's the most fast paced and everything like that. That map does look like the best in the DLC pack and um, that's just because it is a remake and um, you kind of know what you're getting with it. I do think it kind of looks a little bit bigger than Dome was, um, it definitely looks a lot more open. So I suppose that kind of caters the snipers and assault rifles a bit more, which are kind of dominant in this game anyway, so um, I suppose it isn't too bad. So um, that shouldn't be too bad when I actually do get to play that. But the next map, uh, Behemoth, Behemoth, I don't really know how you say it, I don't really know what it means either, but I think that's on some kind of boat, I'm not sure, but uh, that doesn't look too good, I think it's probably um, third, I mean actually no, actually no it is third, I'd say it's probably third out of my favourites that I've looked at, I haven't actually played any of them, so I don't really know how they flow, but from people's um, like opinions on it, and me looking at gameplays from it, I definitely do think that's probably my third favourite. And uh, it doesn't look like it's going to flow too well, it's kind of like a really long map, um, I don't know if it will cater to snipers too well, it probably will do just because of the long lines of sight, but um, it doesn't actually look too good, it isn't the worst, like I just said it is my third favourite from just looking at it, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that map. Which means that we're now moving on to the next map, which is Collision, and I'm not going to lie to you, I've seen gameplays from this map, a lot of people have said it's awful, and I don't think it looks very fun to play either, and uh, that's just because I don't know what it is about it, it just looks like it's really not going to flow very well, um, kind of looks like you can get shot from lots of different angles, like there's people on top of you, and I think it's some kind of like storage facility, I'm not quite sure what it is, I haven't really looked into like, the description to the maps. But that definitely does not look very fun to play, and I think that submachine guns could be, um, some, maybe could be like the best weapon of choice in that map, or like you definitely probably will be able to use them, just because there is some kind of like um, short close quarters areas, but there is that on most maps. Yeah, um, I do think it will definitely be possible to use submachine guns on, which isn't something you can say for many maps on COD Ghosts. So I suppose it is kind of something kind of a bit different. But the final map that I have to go over is Ruins, and that's kind of like a little like jungle kind of thing. It reminds me of Jungle from um, Black Ops 1, which is a lot of fun to play. I definitely do like the look of the map, um, and people have said it flows pretty decent. They said it's probably their second favourite, and I do think it's probably going to be my second favourite too. It could maybe be my favourite, but I haven't played it, so I can't really say much about it. Whereas I had played um, Dome, so I pretty much know how that's going to play out in COD Ghosts. Yeah, Ruins definitely does look a very like good map. Um, it has like a volcano on it I think, um, there might be a different map, but one of the maps do have a volcano, I do think it's that map, it's quite jungly, there's like little like stone things everywhere, it definitely is like a very well looking map, and um, from what I've seen of the gameplay it really doesn't look too bad, it looks like you can move around the map quite well, it's not a map where like there's only one area that you can really stick to, and um, it does like that we can have a lot of fun playing that map. But as always on like every uh, little map pack thing, there is like the little things you get out of the care package and I do think they are very overpowered, especially the Predator one. Um, the ones on the Dome remake do look very annoying, I don't think they look very overpowered, but they look like they can really annoy you. Say if you're on a streak and you do get that and they run at you and just blow you up, that will be very frustrating. And um, some of the other ones do look quite overpowered, but I don't really have much time to speak about them because I do want to quickly go over one more thing before the video is over. And I just kind of want to tell you guys some drop zone tips because I have been really enjoying drop zone recently. 
Um, I find it a lot better than the MW3 one, even though it's the same thing, but, um, but I would still rather they took out Drop Zone and added Hard Point, because all it is really is Hard Point, yet with um, Care Packages, and I definitely feel like the Care Packages do ruin it, because half the time I die to um, streaks, especially when I'm on a streak, pretty much every streak I went on, um, over the last few days has been ended by uh, like a kill streak or they've had an oracle or something like that out of the care package and it is really frustrating and I don't really mind the fact that you don't get like score streaks I think that's okay I just feel like the care packages do kind of ruin it so um, for the tips part um, I only really have one major tip just because the game is about to start um, you don't really want to be on the drop zone if you're going for like a chem strike or a high streak. You kind of want situ to situate yourself in an area around the drop zone just so you can pick off enemies that are coming to the drop zone because I'm pretty sure that um, they try and spawn people like very close to the drop zone and that's pretty much the only tip I have. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.